Ricky, this is the first time I've ever fished with black drum this way. I always went fish with bottom rigs with just cut bait, yeah. and um, I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, I tell you, it's uh, middle of June. Black drum's been doing real well. We've been catching them trout fishing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we focus on them a little bit, but we're going to focus on them a lot today. We're just going to use some, you know, basically live shrimp, fresh as you can get, not frozen. Right. Never frozen if you can get fresh, because it. Fresh is always going out fish, but uh, right. fish been ranging three to five pounds and occasionally a big one. So we got uh, we got the gear and we're ready. Well, it's been awful hot. It was 99 degrees yesterday and 102 today. We're out here early, so we'll maybe we can get the uh, get Tides us some, right. Get us some fish before it gets too hot. Let's do it. All right. All right, Dean. I think we got us uh -oh. one. We'll get the net. <clears throat> he ain't huge or nothing. Let's see what we got. Yeah, he's a, he's pretty good. It's what, it's what we're looking. Let me get that net right quick. Oh yeah. Get him in now. There you go. Dean, he bit funny. Real oh, light. Yeah. His tie's changing. Okay. So. There you go. Good looking fish. That's been uh, Yeah. That would be a small one compared to what we've been catching, right. but that's good eating. There you go. It's a good eating fish right there. Hear him grunt? Yep. He got his name on us. <laughs> Drum. Look at that dorsal. Yeah. Hard to believe they grow a hundred pounds, isn't it? I know. Good job. Let's see one today. Let's get us another one. Yeah, he uh totally different hit than what uh what those pinfish do. You need a bait? No, I'm good. Put him right back there. All right, Dean. All right, good deal. I was all up against the pylons that time. See what we got here. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Yeah, he's away from that bridge though. That's the main thing. Oh yeah, nice fish. Tell you what, TFO's feeling good. Tide's running to you. There you go. Oh, yeah. That fish took it good, Dean. Good one, Ricky. This tide's getting right, them things yeah. love to bite. Yeah. You see them? You wonder where all that power comes from? Yeah. They're right there. <laughs> yeah. He's got a pretty broad tail on him. Oh, too. yeah. Yeah, he's uh, nothing but muscle. All right, buddy, roll. Good one. Let's get it on. You know, these fish we've been catching have been about three or four pounds. That, that last one you caught was about four. I know they get a lot bigger. Yes, I've, seen them, I've seen them bigger in the ocean. Uh, but your granddad was famous for catching big black drum. Yeah, he's, he's got one uh, on the wall there. My cousin's antique barn, uh, 75 pound. Goodness gracious. Early 60s. He used to use all wire all the way. Really? Leader line to the spool, yeah. They even named a street after him in Jacksonville? Yep, Drummer Kellum Road. Wow. He used to catch so many, he'd haul them to the downtown seafood market back in the you know, 50s, 60s in the boot of that Cadillac. No cooler, no nothing, just throw it in the ice the whole trunk down. In the trunk? <laughs> big blocks of ice back then, you know. That's Some crazy. Big cubes. Look at here. We're doing another one here now. It was two real quick. Hi, I'm Joe Albee. And I'm John Moore, inviting you to join us each week as we will explore the fishing possibilities from the mountains to the coast.